Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Amber. Today we are gonna be tackling my part two of my kitchen Christmas decorating. So this will include my dining room table centerpiece, my hutch, and also my buffet table and a few other places along the way. So if you are interested in this type of video, please make sure you stick around and let's get started. So the first area that we're gonna get started on is the hutch. And I was really excited to do this hutch this year because I recently did redid this entire hutch into the more modern farmhouse style to match the rest of my decor in my last video. So this is kind of like having a brand new piece in my home and I absolutely love it. So I was really excited to get started on decorating this year. So I wanted to give my garland a little bit of a natural woodsy kind of feel. So I went out in my yard and picked up a bunch of these pine cones. And now I'm just going to randomly place them inside of the garland just to bring this kind of piece to life. Because it was, it was looking a little plain to me. So the pine cones were just the right touch that it needed. And turning on those lights just made that piece just all that more wonderful. So now I'm going to start on the very top and just kind of play around here. I never really have a plan of how I'm going to stage my decor. I just kind of move things around and play with the things that I do have just to get that look that I'm trying to go for. So um, you'll see me taking things down and putting things up and <laughs> until I get that look that I want. So now I'm going to start decorating inside the hutch and this is where I'm going to display a lot of my ceramic and glass and ray done pieces. So um, I like to use kind of the more white in here and then just add those little pops of color here and there. Yes, I am on my way. And as always, if you have any questions about where 
any of these items have come from or price, I will gladly let you know. So just set, shoot me a comment in the comment section and I will respond to you with any information that you need. So now I'm going to move down onto the second shelf and get that all ready for Christmas as well. The snow is falling down and it is cold outside. We gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday. So I do like to go to the Dollar Tree and get some floral picks like the one I'm holding here. Not only does it give color to the piece, but it also gives height. So um, I like to use those picks in a lot of my decorating. So I wanted to show you these cute little vintage glasses that were passed down to me from my great grandparents. Um, I love putting them in my hutch, but I did want to tell you a little story of how I remember these and why they're so special to me. But I remember when I was younger, probably four or five, maybe even six years old, so very young, um, my grandma and my great grandma and my mom would always make pina coladas and put them in these glasses at Christmas time. And I wanted to feel big, and so I always asked for a pina colada, even though it was an adult beverage. And they would put milk in it and I thought it was pina colada and I thought I was just the coolest kid on the block but um, I remember that from when I was very young and I think it's something that will always stick out to me but I love displaying these in this hutch just to kind of remember those Christmas times as a kid growing up. Now this is a punch bowl set that was given to me by my mamma and I love having this in here as well just to kind of display it and keep it nice um, and I think it makes her happy when she sees that I'm displaying things that she's given me in my videos so this one's for you mamma if you're listening or watching this video so I know you are. <laughs> she's my number one supporter but um, yeah I just love this display this punch bowl it doesn't go anywhere I use it in here all throughout the entire year but I just add little touches just to kind of spice it up a little bit um, with different decor we can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a 
present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is So this is how the last shelf turned out, and this will complete my Hutch for 2020 and my Christmas decor. Um, I love how it came together this year. So next I'm going to work on my buffet table, and I'm just going to start again at the top, work my way down. Um, I got this garland from the Dollar Tree and I just again flocked it with some of that spray snow. I've really been loving doing that with all of my greenery this year, flocking it with that big snow just to, I don't know, give a, a little bit of a neutral effect. So you'll see me using that quite a bit in here. So again, just going to work my way down from top to bottom and kind of give this area just a Christmas flair that it needs. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself. Next I'm going to work on my three-tier tray. This is the tray that stays up here throughout the entire year. But I did a video um, probably a week and a half ago of how to style for different types of tiered trays and I'm just going to take all of those ideas and kind of com combine it into this one tray um, because I'm not going to have five different tiered trays in my whole throughout that. I think that would just be overkill. So I'm going to take all of those ideas that I did on that video with all the different trays and combine it into this one. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been longing to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories, oh, oh, la da 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 oh, 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 la da 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 oh, 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 la da 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 making our Christmas memories. And I lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me And when we wake up in the morning So has anybody ever tried these Hershey's uh, Peppermint Kisses? Um, they are so good. I absolutely love them. They're my favorite candy. I even buy some out of the after season so I have them to go a little bit past Christmas because I enjoy them so much. So I highly recommend them if you're into like the white chocolate um, or peppermint kind of candy. So, so good. Memories. 
So I didn't really think my pot being as this teal blue color kind of fitted in to the Christmas theme. So I'm just tying a little bit of burlap on there and putting a little bow on it um, just so it's not so like stark in your face with blue. So. And then I just switched out my letter board. Absolutely think this one is hilarious. If you've followed me for a while, I love getting uh, letter board quotes off of Pinterest, funny ones, and I don't know. This one just really took me back to my, my teenage days and I thought it was hilarious, so I had to put that on here. Some of you might not get it. <laughs> Some of you will. <laughs> So this is how the buffet area turned out this year. Absolutely think it's so cute and I love just how everything came together. Next I'm going to work on my table centerpiece. Uh, this was a box that I made, a planner box that I made a while ago, um, and it's usually holds my like seasonal display, so something that's going to be a little bit more extravagant. Um, so I just wanted to redecorate those with some of these twinkle lights, and then we're going to start adding our little pops here and there. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, oh and the sun said it is just get better On a blanket with the skyline painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do So now I'm just going to add some of these cinnamon and glittery pine cones just around all of the empty spaces in here and fill that up and that's going to be the last that I do um, on this display. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!